The devastating earthquake in Haiti has likely killed hundreds of thousands. Tonight, a special edition of P3 examining the physical and spiritual aspects of this massive natural disaster. To lead off tonight's special episode devoted to the uh, earthquake in Haiti, I'm joined by John Newfelt. He's a chairperson of Heart to Heart Haiti, a non-denominational Christian charity that has teamed with CETA, the Canadian International Development Agency, to run an orphanage, school, and feeding center in the country. He's also dialed into what's happening in Haiti on the ground, as anyone could be. Welcome to the show, John. Thank you for having me here. This is, uh, I wish I could have you here on other circumstances. This is an absolute disaster. When I heard the tearful words of our uh, Michelle Jean, a Haiti-born uh, Governor General of Canada, my heart just goes out to the people. You've been there, you've been on the ground, you've been working with these people, and you've adopted two kids from Haiti. What did it feel like when you heard the news of this, this disaster? Well, my first reaction was, you know, just, you know, earthquake. I was worried about our buildings, but then as the magnitude of what is really happened there start unfolding on the news yesterday is, is of course I'm worried about the people I said mm. uh, we haven't been able to make any contact with any of our, our Haitian partners or, or we even have one a Canadian worker that's in country there right now and uh, you know we've we're assuming they're okay but we haven't heard from them I mean that that uh, there's no words that can describe obviously I mean the images that, that uh, we're, we're seeing here is just there's full of chaos full of fear um, now, the, 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 the actual epicenter was just outside of Port-au-Prince. Explain where, in relation to Port-au-Prince, your uh, compound is. Well, we're just, uh, um, we are to the west of Port-au-Prince on the southern peninsula where the uh, fault line was. And uh, it, the fault line goes right, you know, right through the whole southern peninsula. So we are just about... Uh, another 30 kilometers to the west of the epicenter. Mm. I mean, uh, with a country like Haiti, it's the starting level is absolute poverty. I mean, this is one of the poorest countries in, our, in, our, in the world, and uh, it's a failed state, as, as, as you said before. And so now you start with basically zero. Is that's, the, that's the normality, and I'm just thinking of what this place would be like right now. It's indescribable. I, you know, people sort of have a, an impression of whether there's a disaster, there's an emergency response. There, there isn't, there's no ambulances in the country. There's, there's no functional fire departments. There's no... It, it's just chaos, and, and uh, is uh, it's going to be this huge effort just to deal with the uh, to trying to dig these people. There's no equipment. The government doesn't have equipment. There'll be you know some private equipment, and the UN might have some equipment available, but. Is it, it's unimaginable what it would be like there yeah, right now. I mean, I, I can, I mean, I'm sure your heart obviously goes out to the, your, your staff, your people in your compound. I mean, here you have worked years to build these projects. A beautiful school with 400 kids in the school. You're feeding them. And I'm sure you're wondering right now as you sit here, are those buildings standing? You don't even know. Well, you know, I, right now, to be honest, I don't care about the buildings. I mm -hmm. care about the people. I care about the millions of people, you know, the, the whole country. All 10 million of them will be be suffering, suffering the loss of the countrymen and just, and, and the just, you know, our, our real big fear is what's going to happen in the near future and that's going to be just, uh, just a, a nationwide starvation. There's going to be just horrible problems with food distribution now. So you're saying, although this has happened now and there's obviously an international response, you're saying we haven't even seen the p potential outcome of what's happened here. Yeah, it, it, it really frightens me. Be and because? It's, uh, the infrastructure is, is is destroyed. I mean, right now, in, like we feed 400 kids a day, and uh, we get our food from Port-au-Prince. Hmm. Is that where we shop? Is that uh, I've so heard? Where other... are those kids in your school getting their food tomorrow? Well, you know, you know, is that it, we probably have enough for a few days, unless they're sharing with the rest of the community doesn't have food now. Right. I know other organizations. Is I've heard reports of other missions that. Uh, they're feeding thousands extra in Grand Guave, and they're, they're, they're saying that by tonight they'll be out of diesel to pump water, and they'll be out of propane to cook food, and out of food. So I mean, uh, your first concern is starvation, mass starvation uh, for, well, the, for these people. My first concern is that, is that uh, the international community responds and, and, and helps free the people that are trapped and, and deal with the, the, the horrible you know, medical emergency of, of all these people that are still trapped in the rubble in Port-au-Prince. But, uh, you know, we're looking into the future and we're seeing what, 
you know, in the near future, it's happening, the near future is happening right already today, right. is people are going to be hungry. They, right. w they were hungry before this disaster. Right. John, your heart obviously has been with Haiti for years. You've been doing this for, you know, I don't know, over 20 years. You adopted two children from Haiti. They're in their teens now. Yes. What was it like for them waking up this morning when they hear their home country has been devastated? Well, is that uh, they're upset about it. They're worried. Is that is uh, actually I took in this hectic day. I took a you know an hour and a half out this afternoon because my my eight-year-old son was playing in a in a, in a basketball tournament. He wanted me there, and mm -hmm. he just needed the support. And, uh, wow. Is that, uh, I know it's, it's troubling them, but it's, mm -hmm. it's troubling the whole family. It's troubling right. the whole community that's involved with right. Heart to Heart. And you have an orphanage there. I mean, you, yeah. you, you, uh, you've built this orphanage. You're, you're taking children who have no homes. They have, no, they have nothing except for this place yeah. that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and this is obviously the heart that you have. You even adopted, as I said, two, two children mm -hmm. because you wanted to rescue them from the, the world that they've been living in. Yes, it's, uh, it's a lot of our orphans, you know, a lot of the orphans are, are economic orphans where mm -hmm. parents, you know, just don't have the resources to, to be able to, to raise their kids. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, so it was a real mixture of, of, you know, of, of kids that are just orphans due to economics mm -hmm. and kids that have been abandoned, mm -hmm. you know, kids whose who've parents have died. A lot of our children come from the Northwest, which is the poorest part of Haiti. But fortunately, that area has escaped wow. the, the, the real ravages of this, uh, this, uh, this devastating this, yeah. event. Uh, John, we're going to take a quick little break, but I want to talk about ways that people can help, ways people can respond after the break, because I know that you, have, you uh, were in the process of uh, teaming up with a, a local church, yes. sending out whole containers of food. Oh, you were already doing that. Yes. I know you have a passion to ramp that up yes. tenfold. I want to talk about what your dream and what your passion is to do that, to motivate people to get involved and to help out. Mm -hmm. We're going to tell you how you can get involved and help out with John Newfelt and some other organizations. More P3 when we return.